Over the past week, Montana, of course, has seen a drastic fluctuation in temperatures. Some parts of the state experiencing a 70 to 90 degree difference over the course of just a couple of days. And the rise in temperature has created mass flooding in some areas, especially among river communities. When Wadsworth traveled to Fishtail to see how they are now regrouping. Fishtail has had its fair share of natural disasters in 2022, and for the second time this year, the small town is faced with serious flooding. But this tiny town packs a big punch and is showing how the Fishtail community is a formidable force in and of itself. On Christmas Eve, Fishtail residents received reports from emergency dispatch warning of broken ice on Rosebud Creek. The news foreshadowed an incoming tidal wave packed with chunks of ice destined for the small town. Within minutes, ice water and debris flooded through Fishtail and across Highway 419, which runs through the town. When Charity Stevens and her family received word of the flood, they went outside and found that their backyard valley had turned into a post-Arctic nightmare. Where our bridge is, the river runs right underneath that. This part of our property, the hill dips down right here, and this is usually between six and eight feet of grass, trees, um, so it kind of gives you an idea of just how full of water and ice this is because now we're level. Chief of Emergency Services for Stillwater County, David Stamey, believes that the town's icy flood was also largely affected by the previous flood that arrived back in June as large amounts of debris were also found in the water. You get the debris in the water, um, and it creates the water flow to slow. Uh, and when the water slows down, it, it promotes it freezing and creating large chunks of ice, which push together and create ice jams or ice dams in the water. And so we suspect that above, above Fishtail on the Rosebud Creek that it it stayed in place for a while, and it's finally enough water pressure pushed it, and it broke loose. And what you had was all of this huge amount of debris and ice pushed forward across the highway and down into, into Fishtail. The mass flooding in Fishtail caused no injuries to residents, but the DES reports there have been cases of minor damage to homes and businesses. Huge sheets of ice still cover the town of Fishtail, and as they have before when faced with fires and floods, Charity Stevens says everyone in town banded together to help clear their main road and make sure the community was being taken care of for the time being. Everybody was in Main Street that night with their shovels trying to see what they could do, and then even you know days after, people have reached out, hey, do you guys need an excavator? Can we come help? Like, what do you need? Um, and it's just... It's just been really great. But as a community as a whole, whenever anything happens in this area, everyone kind of bands together. It's, it's a close-knit community. <clears throat> I grew up in this community, and it's, 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 it's very well blessed with the people that live here. Fishtail residents have already begun removing what ice they can, but for flooding near the Rosebud, residents like the Stevens will likely have to wait for June to thaw the frozen flood. Ren Wadsworth. Nonstop local. All right, Ren, a lot of good information there. Thank you very much.